Once you start receiving support tickets on your website, you can find them under Support Desk and All Tickets. And once we click on that, we're going to see a list of the tickets that we currently have that need to be addressed. So at the very top, you're going to notice that we have the open, the pending, and the closed. So right now we have two open tickets that need to be responded to. If I click on the pending, we have four pending ones, which means an agent has responded to this ticket and we are waiting for the customer to respond back to us. And then once a ticket is closed, it will appear here under the closed tab. Let's jump back to the open tab really fast. So what we have here is the subject of the ticket from the customer's name, when the ticket was created, when the ticket was last updated, the department that they submitted the ticket to, if they requested or if this was assigned to a particular agent, and the priority of this ticket. Once we click on the ticket name, it's going to open up where we can see a full description of the ticket and the problem that the customer is having. Underneath the customer's ticket, you can see that we can reply to this customer or add a note about this ticket. So if I click on reply, it's going to open up a nice little reply box where I can type out my response to this customer. We also have a button that says insert canned response. So this here is what we set up previously in a previous video where instead of typing out a full email, I can just use one of our canned responses that is already pre-made for us. I'm going to close out of that for now. I'm going to respond to our customer and say, we are looking into your issue. And I'm going to click on reply. Now, once I reply to my ticket on the far right hand side, we have our ticket priorities. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. We have the priority, whether it's urgent, low, medium, or high. This here is what the customer selected when they first created their ticket. We have the status, which is open, pending, or closed. So now that I responded to my customer, let's say I asked them a question, I would change this to pending because now we are waiting for the customer to respond to us. If the customer selected the wrong department, I can change that here. If I would like to assign an agent to this ticket, I can select them from this list here. And if this is a particular type of support ticket, I can choose to type here, question, problem, feature request, billing issue, login issue, or none. I'm going to leave it just like it is. I'm going to make sure I change this to pending because I am now waiting for the customer to respond to me. And I'm going to click on update. At the very top right, we can see that this has changed from open to pending. And now we're going to go back to all tickets and we can see that we no longer have two open tickets, but rather have one. And we now have five pending tickets since I just recently changed that ticket to pending. So this here is where you will be managing all the support tickets that come into your support desk.